Hey, man, I was in Freeport, Bahamas, 1996. Boy, don't we all wish we were someplace more interesting than our own living room. Here's our poor flamingo hanging out here today. So, hey, tonight we are doing abalone jewelry. That's why we've got the shell over here and shell jewelry. And we have a lot of different stuff. I've got um, regular fashion pieces and also some sea life. So let's jump in. This is all abalone right here. The abalone that we use comes primarily from off the coast of California, the Sea of Cortez. Um, all of our abalone and shell jewelry comes in through my fish and wildlife permit. So it is all blessed by uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. There is a lot of trafficking of shell and products, animal products. Um, so everything that we ship in from Mexico, which is where all of my shell jewelry comes from, is blessed by Fish and Wildlife. I've gotten to know some of those agents there by name. And they're always so willing to help me out. Um, the biggest shipment of Fish and Wildlife comes in through Memphis. And um, we ship in through there. What you're looking at here, I'm stopping because these are some of my favorite pieces. And I only have a few of them left. These are laser cut black lip shell. And... Um, the little Hanus on there, three different sizes with citrine on those two. Um, again, we are looking at the abalone. The abalone that you're seeing here is is the gray abalone. Um, I'm going to point to this piece because this is a different type of abalone, and it comes typically from the Philippines. It's Pawa shell. You guys may recognize it because it's got more of a purpley green color to it instead of the gray. But the bulk of what we carry is done with our Mexican artists and comes out of the um, out of the Americas. So anyway, these are some of our really big fun pieces. Um, we carry cuff bracelets in most of these and uh, pendants. Well, this is our big octopus collection. You guys have seen our Mermaids and Mermaid Day on Mermaid Monday. Um, this is our big mermaid cuff again. This is a weighty cuff. I think she comes in about um, almost close to 100 grams. And um, this is inlaid with abalone. Gorgeous earrings. We carry the sailfish. I send these down to a couple of our shops out in the uh, Moorhead City area for the big rock festival where they do, where they have the big sailfish contest. So a lot of my, my shops uh, will bring things in just, just specialty for, for a, an event. A lot of times I'll work with them and just send them special jewelry for a short period of time. And then they can send back what they don't sell. That's how I work with some of my stores. So if you guys know of any stores that would like to carry some gorgeous sterling jewelry, please. We do, take, um, we do offer up referral bonuses for referring us to people that will carry our jewelry. This is a gorgeous abalone sun. I do carry matching earrings for that um, as well. You're seeing a blue-green cast on it, and that just happens to be the color of the abalone. Uh, this is a dolphin, and the, it's inlaid with mother of pearl. These are real fun pieces. I have two different sizes and matching earrings. This is a starfish with um, um, set with abalone, and then the larger piece... This is my this is my hand laid next to it just to give you an idea. Pretty big piece. It measures about four inches down from the bale and about uh, two and a half to three inches wide. We carry it both in abalone and in pearl. And this is handmade for us in Mexico. That's some of our bigger abalone pieces. I'm going to run back over here and hit another tray. Follow him back. All of these pieces are, are this is actually an international collaboration here. Um, a lot of these shell pieces come from off of the coast of the Philippines. And then they are laser cut in China. We do not produce jewelry in China, but uh, we do... Um, some of the work there on our shelves where they are laser cut that is done in China sent on to the US to or sent on to Mexico for our silversmith down there to do all the work 
Um, we actually met the gentleman that started this project with him, and it's an Irishman that we happened to meet at breakfast one day in Tasco, and he was the gentleman that, that made the arrangements to get the Filipino shell into China for the laser work and then on to Mexico to our silversmith. So it's kind of interesting the things that you can find out and the collaborations that you can make and the people that you get to work with um, when you bump into the right folks over breakfast. This is a cool piece. This is actually a cut cameo, cut out of Mother of Pearl and set in sterling. I'm about to get an interloper here. Interloper. He's about to jump up on my table and I'm about to go ballistic. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll keep moving until that happens. Um, these, the, the pieces that you're looking at are, are pearl. Some of those we do have some matching earrings for, but these are again from my silversmith in Mexico. And um, coming up here, I normally, you guys may have seen this out online. This is one of our signature pieces. Um, this is a, our starfish hug necklace. It is a gorgeous silver starfish hugging a baroque pearl. And this is on a 20 inch box chain. And this will, when will retail at 138, but again, you guys get the, get the good deal on this. Your price is going to be 30% off. This one is online. And if you choose to purchase it online, remember to use code mom rocks 30 mom rocks 30 on the checkout. And that will get you 30% off of that piece. Hey, Leslie, how are you? Hey, Hey, Missy. Um, this is the, the little sister to that piece. This is our uh, tiny little uh, starfish necklace and we've got the matching earrings that go with it here but these are some of our, our biggest pieces that we that we um, we sell these to a lot of our stores and we sell these to a lot of our retail customers when we're out and about I am going to move over here and remind you about these rings these are so much fun um, well, since it's abalone night I'm reminding you about these cool rings these are actually flip rings. So this one is abalone on front and a synthetic onyx on the back. So you get two rings, two looks for, for the price of one, and they are adjustable. So I don't have to size them. They will size from a six to a 10 and they, they size really nicely. And uh, retail price on those is 48. Again, your discount 30%. And then we have the red one, which is a composite red Jasper. And that one flips to a composite uh, turquoise. So there you go. Reminding you about those cool rings. Those were a big seller the last time that we were out at a retail show, which was about two months ago. <laughs> uh, funny how things uh, get away from you here. Um, I put some of my fun sea life out here tonight. The, this is a synthetic composite stone as well. I know I've got some more crabs too. You'll see those when we do opals tomorrow. I'm going to do opal sea life tomorrow in addition to pet day tomorrow. So I, I realized that I had my opal sea life. So, um, so we've got the crabs and you'll see those tomorrow in opal, but this is the composite stone. And I carry the same um, earrings, the larger pendant, the smaller pendant, also in the composite turquoise as well. Moving on to some more of our animals. Um, we carry a lot of turtles and the turtles do so well for us. What you're looking at here this is Chrysocolla. Um, it's a lighter green as opposed to this one, which is a darker green. It's a subtle difference in those. Um, this is this is Malachite. And then the lighter green, you can see them side by side. The dark green is my preference in Malachite, and the light green is Chrysocolla. Right now I have this set with matching earrings in Chrysocolla, and I will be getting the Malachite in again whenever we can start back up our production. I just heard from one of my folks in Tasco today. They are on lockdown there in Tasco, which is a really dense city of about 40,000 people. Um, and they are on lockdown till May 30th. So um, they have it just as bad there in central Mexico. Um, this is a gorgeous piece. You may recognize some of those pieces there from the post that I put out on Instagram and Facebook the other day. I posted our large version of the abalone turtle cuff bracelet. Today I put this, I have the small version. This is, an, this is made up of the medium turtle 
and the small turtles on this cuff bracelet. This is the small version. And um, the large version actually has this large pendant as the centerpiece with the two mediums as the side pieces. And that's the cuff that I posted out there uh, on Instagram the other day with the pretty beach background. But we carry our turtles and we have matching earrings for those. Tomorrow you will see the same collection in opal. Double and back. I've got a couple more abalone earrings here. And I have this really cool shell set. Um, I will sell this as a, as a set together um, just because they're, you're not going to be able to find anything at all like it. Um, this is from one of my um, manufacturers in, in Mexico. And all they do is work with, with um, natural stones and shell. If you caught the Larimar show um, and you saw the big Larimar heart, this is from the same folks that do that work for me. Hey, Kimberly, thanks for joining in. Now I'm moving over to something that we rarely see and this ties in with the big shell that I started the show with. These three pieces right here, you are rarely gonna see this in the States because, well, actually, I probably shouldn't have it because <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's from the Queen Conk um, the pieces that I have in Mexico were already, were already done. So it was okay for them to be imported into Mexico. And if you're traveling in the Bahamas, you personally can purchase a piece of Queen Conch. But as a importer, I'm not allowed to import any of this from, from the, either the Dominican or from the Bahamas, especially the Dominican. They don't have the fish and wildlife rules that some of our other partner countries have. And therefore, um, Dominican is kind of on the blacklist when it comes to um, importing shell, just because they don't they don't play with fish and wildlife. So I do have a couple of pieces of this beautiful pink conch, and that I'm going to double back over here real quick. This pink conch is what you see in the inside of this piece here from our cheesy Bahama souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're moving on back over. Sorry about that. I'm making you sick. Um, all right. A few more pieces here. Abalone, Mother of Pearl. This is a really cute set. We carry this piece in a lot of synthetic stones. I mentioned to you before that we use synthetic stones in pieces that we have a unique design and to keep the prices down. So we'll pop in a synthetic stone where that abalone is, and that gives us a great price point. So we carry this in... Synthetic versions of onyx and red jasper, light and dark turquoise, uh, green gaspiite. Um, so if you like that piece and the matching pendant, the matching pendant is just the same piece here with a loop with a uh, bail on it. Um, if you like that piece, feel free to ask me because we do carry that in many, many colors, including purple for those Raven fans that might be watching. Speaking of purple, I'm going to move over to nature's, nature's version of purple. Here you're looking at some... Um, this is some more black lip shell uh, cut, and this is a piece of ammonite. But here we're moving on to nature's shell version of purple. This is spiny oyster shell. Again, that comes from areas um, around the Baja California, the Sea of Cortez, off the coast of California. Um, and this, this is typically, you'll see this one, oftentimes you see it in the orange, um, but spiny oyster shell comes in orange and purple. Here's a pretty piece of orange, um, but this is all natural. And my silversmith takes pieces of that and sets it with, with silver. Really, really unique, kind of fun piece, a little bit beachy. So if you're a purple girl and you need to have a little bit of the beach to go with your purple, then um, then that there's a, a good choice for you. I'm just gonna move in here. I found these cute little earrings here tonight and I didn't know what show they fit in with. So what you're looking at here, and I can turn these into a pendant for you because, because those are pretty substantial earrings when you figure that that's a two and a half inch earring card. Um, these all have composite stones, but it's just a cute, cute piece. Wanted to show you that. Moving on over, I have some more black lip laser cut shell. I have these gorgeous handmade pieces. I have one in natural turquoise and one in moonstone. Um, that is our jeweled wave piece. And um, Kim, this is for you. You were asking about the uh, sun and moon pendants. I also carry these in earrings. I know I'm getting low on the turquoise, but I still have a few left. Um, it's a light, light turquoise composite, dark turquoise composite, moonstone, 
Mother of Pearl, which is why we put them in the show. Um, the Mother of Pearl is in two different sizes. And then I have this, this oddball dichroic glass one here. Um, this is also the split leaf philodendron design. We carry that in the two earrings and the pendant. I need an anchor for back here, so I have one of our under the sea cuffs. This has got uh, this has got a whale and a ray, the octopus center, fish, coral, and more more fish. Um, just a real substantial piece of silver. And this is a great great collection. Um, this is all white abalone. It comes from the Philippines. Again, it's um, it's a certain genus and species which uh, we can make jewelry from. And this, again, is done by my silversmith, and he does such a beautiful job on it. The interesting thing about this, and I'll give you guys some tips, when you are buying jewelry, and if you're ever buying shell, I don't know if you can see this, but what's reflecting is that my jeweler has set crystal resin behind this, this shell so that it will protect the shell and that it won't crack because it's got the... It's fully filled in with crystal resin behind it and then set that way. So just, um, you know, whenever you're looking at, at jewelry, something to keep in mind. You know, making sure that, that folks um, take care of all of the, the different parts of your, your jewelry to make sure that it's strong. So this is a shorter show tonight. I'm just going to double back over things. That is all that I've got for you this evening. Um, tomorrow, again, we're going to have... Pets. We might have a, 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 a guest appearance by Zizzer and Quill. Um, they might be checking in during pet day tomorrow. I also am going to do the extra show that's going to have the the opal. Um, we'll have our opal sea life because I have so much opal sea life, both pendants and, and earrings on those. And um, the starfish. Which starfish are you wanting me to head, head the starfish earrings? Is that what you were, you were looking at those, Kimberly? Um, and then um, on, on Friday will be May Day, which is going to be our garden show to celebrate the beginning of May. Um, and then on um, Saturday, it's Kentucky Derby Day. Well, it was Kentucky Derby Day. And oh, this is the starfish hug that, that, that I'm doubling back on this. Our starfish hug, this is one of our signature pieces. Um, it is a silver starfish wrapped around a Baroque pearl. Retails at $138. Again, this one is online. And to use the, to use our code MOMROCKS30 to get 30% off on that. That's the matching set there. And then if that's a little too bold for you, we have the little uh, cultured freshwater pearl with the little starfish hugging it at the top. Um... Uh, back to Derby Day on Saturday, it's going to be horses and statement gems. On Sunday, we're going to do opal classics and classic sterling. So if you like your big chunky sterling like I do, that's going to be that's going to be the uh, the day for you to check in. On Monday, I will probably re pre record. I got to run up and take care of mom on Monday, get her some groceries. So uh, Monday is going to be summer accessories, anklets, and toe rings and chains. And before I leave here tonight, I wanted to show you one more thing about my chains. Um, and then Tuesday, that's going to be our uh, Cinco de Mayo, our last call show as well. So we'll start with our Cinco de Mayo. Everybody will get, a, get your favorite beverage in hand, and I'm going to cut loose with some jewelry that just got to go. So we'll have some great prices. No, Leslie, everything is not online. Um, most of what I'm showing you here is from my retail collection. So this was all out with me at my retail shows. So most of this is one of a kind or limited quantity of things. And we are working on getting more things online. So um, right now your best way is to shop. And you can shop by looking at the Bonita Beach YouTube channel because we have loaded up all of our episodes of my uh, wonderful Mother's Day stylings here on our YouTube channel. So before I check out tonight, I want to show you one more thing. And you guys... Um, if you can can see these pieces, I carry four different chains, and these are a great price. They're twenty eight dollars, and I'm gonna ask for my assistant to come here here real quick, um, because I can't show you the cool thing about these chains. Um, these chains are 
there's four styles. There is a um, an eight-sided snake chain, a rope chain, a large uh, box chain, and a large roller chain. And the thing about these that is so cool is that these will go from 22 inches, or I'm sorry, 24 inches at their at their largest point, down to whatever length you need. You can just let the, the pretty little piece hang on the back. So if you just need a, a flexible necklace that is going to allow you to work it with different with different necklines, then this piece is for you. $28 before discount. And this is our adjustable chain. Again, it comes in it comes in a large box, it comes in a large rollo. And the two most popular ones are the rope chain and the eight-sided snake. And that would be these two. If Roland will zoom in here real quick. These two are the most popular ones. These two right here are the most popular styles. And then the other two are also available. But it's just really nice uh, to be able to just have one chain that you can adjust very, very well. So anyway, that is it for the evening, folks. I appreciate, as always, you tuning in. Please put comments below. Let me know how I can help you with anything. If there was anything that caught your eye, just snap a quick picture uh, with your phone. You can do a freeze frame on your phone. And um, then you can always um, drop me a private message or put a comment below. I'll try to snap a few more pictures and put them into an album. And then um, you know, I'll answer questions for you that you may have. And again, please, please share, share this with folks. If you know someone that loves silver, point them to our Facebook page or Instagram page. Um, all of your efforts are helping me to gain some more likes. And in the land of Facebook, you got to have people that are participating with you in order to, to get your stuff put out to the rest of the world. So thank you so much, y'all. Have a great evening. Appreciate it. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night.